Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Right side for today's video, the beer's courtesy of Steven. Thanks so much, Steven. I really appreciate it. So this is another one from Abomination. And uh, just one of these times, I, I want them to make a really bad beer so I can be like, this beer is an abomination. But it hasn't happened yet. Uh, it is triple dry hopped mosaic wandering into the fog. Um, double IPA. Uh, triple dry hop mosaic wandering into the fog double <laughs> India pale ale triple dry hop with mosaic all right so I'm assuming that this is a triply dry hopped with mosaic double IPA uh, coming in at 8.6% ABV uh, excuse me this is one day under a month old at time of review at time of posting, it'll be exactly a month old. I love me some mosaic. I you know, I talk about it sometimes, like um, especially with Galaxy. Like I used to think, like Galaxy, you know, kicked a lot of pineapple, and sometimes you can still get Galaxy doing that, but uh, not as much. I don't think I'm the only person who gets less pineapple holistically from Galaxy anymore. Mosaic, similar thing with that berry note. Like I can still sometimes get that berry thing, but it's not. It just seems like it hasn't been as common. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I say that to say I hope I get some berry out of this. So yeah, I mean that's a deep, thick orange. Um, it, it, it's some. It's closer to butternut squash than it is what I would say just regular hazy. I mean way beyond unfiltered, you know. But it is to me beyond hazy. Um, so somewhere between hazy and that kind of butternut squash soup. There was more head, and then I started talking. Um, probably like half a finger at this point. It's it's an off-white head. It's not quite like bone, but yeah, it's a little something-something there. Uh, but yeah, definitely looks good. Let's get into the aroma. <sighs> Tell you what, I don't think I just put this in my brain. Yeah, I get a little bit of berry. A little bit of orange. It's interesting because this was a while ago. I got to look into this. I had heard mosaic is like citra on steroids. But I don't always get the like orange, peach, and mango I get from citra in mosaic. But I do get some of that very similar citrus note that I get with citra. It's ripe fruits. It's a little tropical. But yeah, it's like, it reminds me, I, I bought actually some berries recently and I've been making smoothies. And so it's a mix of strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry, just the ones that were on sale that I bought. But it is kind of reminding me of blueberries specifically. But anyway, let's get to taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Stephen. That's nice. Wow. Mmm. Nice mouthfeel. You get you get that upfront huge hit, ripe fruit. You do get a lot of tropical notes. You get some of that nice orange juice. Uh, I'll have to go back in for more like the berry, you know, <laughs> to, to to weigh in officially on the berry. Um, what's the right word? Um, mystery, whatever. That's not the right word. Um, but anyway, the experience. You get that awesome burst of the sweet fruitiness up front. Bitterness kicks in. Some of the sweetness continues, but the bitterness brings along a little bit of a dryness as well. And it just, in this mouthfeel, it just makes for a really nice sip, a really nice gulp. <laughs> wow. It's funny, I'm getting a little bit more strawberry than blueberry, actually, in the taste. But yeah, a lot of citrus. I'm getting some zest now as well. And as I'm talking, still some orange, but a little bit of grapefruit zest also, which is nice. So like you're getting, you know, several things, you're getting different things at different times, yet it's cohesive. It might morph from one thing into another, like that more, you know, orange into the grapefruit, the the, the sweet, riper fruit, when the bitterness and dryness kind of kicks in um, uh, into still those fruits, but just less ripe versions of them mixing in with that bitterness. Uh, a little bit of that dryness. 
it's not like a, a particularly dry beer. Don't don't misunderstand me. But from the initial sip, part of the sip, yeah, it, it does dry out from there. Creamsicle, a little bit of mango. Finally, okay, so a little something specific, tropical. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, this is fantastic. Um, I cannot call this beer an abomination. Uh, yeah, thanks again, Stephen, for sending it. I really appreciate it, man. Seriously, man, this is this is really good. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? Have you had a Mosaic uh, Forward beer lately you want to talk about? Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.